So moving right along here in our controller test, the next one that we want to test is going to be the get Pokemon detail. And this one is just going to return a Pokemon DTO and it's going to be very similar to our create. So I'm just going to go up here and just copy it from the create and change around some stuff in it so that we don't have to type as much here. So we're going to have get Pokemon or we'll say Pokemon detail and we'll say return Pokemon DTO. So here we actually have to mock our Pokemon service uh, get by ID. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of all of this. And I'm going to change this to a win. And then here we need to, once again, get Pokemon by ID. Pass in an int of Pokemon ID. And you don't have to do this. You could pass these hard-coded values in here. But I'm going to choose to make things a little bit more official. And then here is where we're going to actually have the then return. And we need to make sure that we are returning a Pokemon DTO. So we're going to go here. It's going to be Pokemon DTO. Okay. That looks good. Next is that it's not going to be a create endpoint anymore. And it's also going to be a get. So we need to change that to a get. And we need to change this to a one. You could also make it to where it passes. It doesn't pass in the value hard coded. And it will automatically put it in there. But simple case. So it, I don't really think that that's going to be much of an issue. And we're passing up a Pokemon uh, so we're passing up a Pokemon DTO to the actual endpoint. So we're taking in a Pokemon DTO and we're getting back a Pokemon DTO. And that looks good. It looks, uh, we don't even need, I don't even, oh, we need to change this to is okay because it's not being created. So make sure you got both of those and let's go ahead and test it. It should be good to go. So go ahead, we're going to run it. And we've got our green. So everything's looking good. And I'm also going to change that to Pokemon ID. So the next one is going to be an update. And the update is going to be uh, incredibly similar to the one before it. Who would have guessed? So we can just go ahead up here and we can go down and we can copy it. And I'm going to call this Pokemon Detail because I think that's, that's really what it's supposed to be. And we're going to update Pokemon for this one. So we'll say update Pokemon, and this one is going to return another Pokemon DTO. So we need to make sure uh, we're, we're mocking the right one, and we need to mock the update Pokemon. And the update Pokemon needs an int, or it needs the Pokemon DTO, and it also needs an ID. So we're going to have our Pokemon... DTO and our Pokemon ID. So we're going to say Pokemon DTO and we're going to have our Pokemon ID and it's going to return a Pokemon DTO. So it does return Pokemon DTO. Uh, this endpoint is going to be different. So we will update the one Pokemon again and it will also have the update tagged on to the end of it like that. And it's also going to be a put request. So this is actually going to be a put. So let me see here. So it should be put. And it looks like we've got everything. We're passing up a uh, value. Okay, so that looks good to go. Let's go ahead and let's run. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we have our green. The last is we also have to do a delete. So we're going to go delete. We're going to go copy because it's very similar, change this to delete. Delete returns a string. So we're gonna say delete and return string. Okay, so with delete, the method that we need to mock is actually a void. So the way that you mock uh, voids is you have do nothing, then win, then we will have our actual Pokemon service. So we will have Pokemon service. Next, what we need to do is we need to modify this endpoint. So it's going to be API Pokemon. And then instead of update, it's going to be delete. And the delete will have a content type of application media.json. And we're not actually sending up any values to it. So we don't need to, 
to actually have that. And then just put an, ex an extra parentheses on it, like just like that. And the result matcher, all we need to do is make sure that it returns a status of okay since it's not actually returning anything. So let's go ahead here, let's run it, and let's see if it works. So, looks like, and we've got a failure. So let me go ahead, go back, see what happened here. It can't be a put, it's supposed to be a delete. So we'll have a delete here. And Pokemon uh, API, Pokemon one, delete API. And we're gonna go ahead and run it. And we've got green, we can now move on to our review controller and we will be able to finish up our unit test. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.